In terms of the whole, again, uh, on the spectrum side of it, just SDA and there are ILO housing or cell housing. So there is still need of housing broadly for people with disabilities, exactly, exactly. not just SDA. So how is that housing sector overall to cover all those needs of participants from a different, you know, not everybody would need a high physical needs house or a robust house. They would need a different kind of housing. So what kind of a housing is available in Western Australia? And then, and what are the gaps and how you are playing a role in that sector? Sure, the, gap, the gaps are massive. Um, the, the sector has, con has traditionally just adopted conventional residential housing and then acted that as best as they can mm. to um, that SIL market. Mm -hmm. um, what's interesting about the, the numbers, you know, 7% of all the people in, in DIS will probably get SDA funding, so 93% won't. Mm. Um, now that there's no data on this, but we would suggest that probably half of the 93% probably have um, capacity within their own network and their, and their own resources to provide their own housing, but the other half still require housing support. Um, so while well, everyone's very busy trying to put together SDA product, mm. um, for every SDA dwelling that goes to ground, we probably need four or five sill houses that mm. are specifically designed and targeted towards that fully accessible type of client. Mm -hmm. um, and no one's doing it that much in Western Australia, um, but we're very focused on it. Give it another 12 months and I think we, there will be a fair bit more of that product around. The other challenge I think that the, um, particularly the SIL providers are going to have going forward is the lack of vacancy in the West Australian market for residential property. Mm -hmm. And um, as a property manager ourselves, the um, investors who own this property are very reluctant to deal with a corporate entity. Mm -hmm. um, their, their conventional um, thinking is we're looking for mum and dad with a couple of kids and um, we can hold them accountable for mm. anything that goes wrong in the property. And I think there is a perception amongst them as well that people with disability are going to wreck the house, um, mm -hmm. which is misguided. But um, that's just the way that the mum and dad investors who own most of that product think. Mm. Um, the problem that the SD, uh, that the SIL providers will have with that product as well is that they are probably going to be hard pressed to get more than a 24 month lease. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm going to be a SIL provider, which I'm not, but mm. thinking at it from a purely business perspective, Dev, um, I would want to have a five year minimum lease. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, my business becomes homeless when that person decides he wants to actually um, finish up and sell the house. Yeah.